So we're talking, uh, finishing up here talking about fasting. If you're a bodybuilder, weightlifter, uh, if you're interested in building muscle, if you're recovering from surgery or you're just interested in building tissue, activation of genetics of genes called sirtuins, S-I-R-T-U-I-N-S, is associated with fasting behavior, with caloric restriction as well. There's genetic associ- There's a, a genetic component to the anti-aging benefits of fasting, and indeed there are wonderful anti-aging benefits and longevity benefits and anti-inflammatory benefits. There's all kinds of benefits associated with fasting behavior, and a lot of these are based on epigenetic phenomena, on turning genes on and off. Gene, we've got this idea in our culture that genes are some kind of master keys to uh, how the body is built and how the body de- is developed, and we forget that genes turn on and off based on uh, our behaviors, based on our environment, based on nutrition or lack thereof, and this epigenetic phenomena can be tapped into by using fasting behaviors or caloric restriction. Fasting can have especially uh, important benefits for folks who are dealing with autoimmunity. Even WebMD recognizes this. WebMD is certainly no friend of alternative or nutritional medicine. Uh, WebMD has an article on their website about fasting's benefits in relieving the symptoms of multiple sclerosis. I blogged about this at pharmacistben.com. Uh, WebMD says that multiple sclerosis, as which most of you know, is an autoimmune disease of the nervous system. Uh, uh, WebMD recommends fasting for improving the symptoms of MS. Pretty much all auto, autoimmune diseases, autoimmune health issues will improve with fasting. And even just eating less, even just caloric restriction can help reduce symptomology, especially reducing calories from, uh, reducing calories from processed foods with little nutritional value. This is so important, you guys. If you follow uh, the food pyramid or you listen to your doctor, you listen to average dietitians, nobody's making a distinction between the calories you get from processed foods with no nutritional value and the calories you get from good foods. Simply cutting back on our intake of low nutritional density foods can make a huge difference for autoimmune diseases. On the other hand, using nutritionally dense foods and using easy to process foods, the foods that are easy for the digestive system to work with, can have a positive effect on the same kind of autoimmune symptomology. Soups, smoothies, vegetable juices. Nutritionists call these kinds of foods low-residue foods. And these low-residue foods are quickly utilized by the body, quickly processed by the body. That's why I'm always recommending that you use liquid nutrition. This is why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and BTT, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, are so effective nutritional supplemental products because they're liquid. Now, I say this probably almost, almost every day on the bright side. I certainly say it in my presentations. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, what makes it such a singularly important nutritional supplement product is the fact that it is in a liquid format and it's nutritionally dense. That means it goes right to work. So even if you're not up for a a full-blown day of fasting, which we all should be doing, but if you just don't feel like doing a full-blown day of fasting, just taking a little bit of the load off of the digestive system can help you accrue some nice health benefits and help improve the symptomology, the symptoms associated with inflammatory disorders and with uh, with autoimmune diseases as well. Hit your satiety buttons. Hit your satisfaction buttons. Combine salt and oil and veggies. This is one of the great secrets of dieting and appetite suppression, appetite suppression, caloric restriction. Combining foods so that you hit your satiety or satisfaction centers. Salt is so important. Nothing will make you eat a lot of food than try, more than trying to get on a low salt diet or a low fat diet. Have you noticed that with all the low-fat propaganda that's been out in the last 30 years, we're fatter than ever before? We're we're, we're the fattest culture in the history of mankind, even though we're obsessed with low-fat, because it's not really the fat that's the problem. There's a a built-in, hardwired need for fat that we can exploit, that we can take advantage of, that we can leverage. By eating fat, you'll hit that satiety button, especially if you combine the fat with salt. Salt and oil go together really well, especially on top of vegetables. Try putting some salt on top of avocados. The the fat in the avocados plus the salt not only will taste incredibly delicious, especially if you haven't had salt for a while, especially if you haven't had salt or oil for a while, but in, in addition to tasting incredibly delicious, it's very, very satisfying. 
Roast your veggies, roast your onions, roast your Brussels sprouts, or steam your broccoli. Steaming and roasting makes veggies taste sweeter and it brightens the flavors as well. If you don't feel like roasting, use a steamer, any kind of cooking. Just lightly, though. You don't want to cook your veggies too much. Even boiling can have a positive effect on flavor and on sugaring of vegetables. When you cook or roast or steam your vegetables, you're actually losing a little bit of water as you heat your vegetables and the flavors become more concentrated. This is not as exaggerated in steaming as much as it is in roasting, but even steaming will get you a more a, a brighter a brighter flavor or a brighter flavor spectrum, if you will, of your broccoli and your Brussels sprouts and your and your cucumber. And use lots of butter and use lots of coconut oil and of course use lots of salt. Macadamia nut oil is also a good oil. Or use a nutritional oil like hemp seed oil or flaxseed oil. More satiety means less willpower. You know, I'm not big on using willpower to control basic hardwired behaviors, which eating is. Eating is a hardwired behavior. We are driven, we are compelled to get specific to get food, especially specific kinds of food like sugar. Using willpower is is not a good strategy because the drive for eating, the eating behaviors and the drive for sugar, uh, sugar is built into the brain. It takes a lot of willpower to bypass that, and willpower is kind of like a muscle. Willpower has a limited capacity. That means if you're using willpower for, for uh, forcing yourself to get out of bed, you're going to have less willpower to control your eating behaviors at breakfast. If you're using willpower to keep yourself from uh, smoking cigarettes, you're going to have less willpower that's available for restricting eating behaviors. It's one of the reasons why people eat more when they quit smoking cigarettes. Willpower has a limited capacity. And what's even worse when it comes to using willpower for dieting is willpower costs blood sugar. It takes blood sugar sugar to activate willpower. Willpower can induce hypoglycemia. Using willpower can induce hypoglycemia. You, using willpower can induce secretion of cortisol. And all of these will actually make you hungrier. So using willpower to control hunger behaviors and eating behaviors is kind of a contradiction in terms. Using willpower to control eating behavior will cost you willpower, will cost you blood sugar, which will make you even more hungry. So it's not a really an effective strategy to use willpower to control eating behavior. Try to hit your satiety centers using salt, using oils, using veggies, even just salt water. Even just salt in water can help you, can help hit your satiety center. Even just a spoonful of, of Udo's blend or a good essential fatty acid oil or coconut oil or a little, or a little bit of butter with some salt on it. Just that alone can help activate satiety centers. Fasting is also a great detox strategy. Taking a few days off from food can give the detox system a chance, uh, an opportunity to catch up. In fact, in my opinion, fasting is a way, way better detox than any herbal detox formula. Herbal detox formula, and potentially anyway, just add to the work that the body has to do. Herbs and medicinal compounds have to be processed. They're not as toxic as drugs, but they're still, in essence, medicines, which are by definition toxins. And if you're trying to detox, it sure doesn't make any sense to add toxins your body to detox now, does it? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Please pay attention, folks. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is a Christian, veteran-owned wholesale preparedness company. Our mission is to get the Word of God out to all those in need of a Bible and who cannot afford one. We also provide great-tasting freeze-dried food from only 50 cents per serving, GMO-free food, over 1,000 preparedness items. Plus, for a limited time, type in the word Genesis at checkout and get a free King James Bible with every purchase. That's AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. And we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261. Let's go off to Michigan and welcome John to the bright side. Good morning, John. What's up, buddy? Uh, ben, three quick things, and uh, uh, one's varicose veins. Um, okay. Uh, calcium. Is this, is this all for the same person, or is this just general questions? Yeah, these are general, and, and, and a couple of them are for specific. One's for me. Uh, the, the calcium is, is raw milk, a good source of calcium, and yes. uh, what's a good copper source, and then also split skin on thumbs and fingertips. Okay, that's a bunch of stuff there. Uh, calcium is, you know, milk is milk is obviously a good source of calcium, but where do cows get their calcium from to get in the milk? What do you think? Probably the grains. No, not the grains. They're not oh, supposed see. to be. The grass, the grass. 
vegetables, that, greens. Right that's your best source. That's going to be your best source of calcium is greens, green leafy vegetables. Um, yeah, obviously there's calcium in milk, but there's also a downside to milk as well. You get phosphorus in milk, which competes with the calcium. If you're doing raw milk and you're doing organic milk and it's somewhat difficult to find raw organic milk, then, uh, then you're probably going to bypass a lot of the problems associated with milk, especially if it's not homogenized. Homogenization grinds the little fat particles up to a tiny size to where they can get absorbed into the bloodstream very effectively. So homogenized milk is a no-no. Pa- pasteurized milk is a no-no. Obviously, uh, hormone milk and antibiotic milk and all that kind of stuff that you get in milk is a no-no. Uh, milk's not just not a, an effective food unless it's right from the tap. You know, mother's milk is the best milk to get. We should all be drinking mother's milk as long as possible. So if you find yourself a, a nice mother who wants to